Hey guys, it's Josh from Kings Hoops 273 and I'm posting another tutorial for Mac OS X. Today I'm going to be showing you on iMovie HD how to do split screen. It seems pretty impossible, but it's actually pretty doable as long as you uh, follow my directions to download the effects necessary in my video how to actually download these effects, which I'll post in the video description. Alright, so your first step is to get two clips that you want to combine into a split screen and you want to make them the exact same length. So if you see here, this is from a public service announcement I did a while ago. I have two clips that are each exactly three seconds long. Now what I'm going to do with these is my first step is I'm going to drag these into the timeline. So I have these two clips. Next, I'm going to select the first one. So it's blue like this, and I want to go to the, the uh, editing tab, which you can find on the right where my mouse is. And you want to go to the effect that says, uh, if you open up CFX Universal, you want to click on Crop. And you want to click Configure. Now once you do this, you'll see that you have a little a red box that you can expand and contract that you can play around with. And wherever you put that red box is where the video is going to show up. So your first step is to make the red bit box big enough to encompass what you want to uh, put as your video clip. So... As you can see, I have my box, and I want to put this so that it's blue wherever I want the other shot to go, and whatever it shows from this first shot is what's going to show in the split screen. So as you can see, I put the line here, and this is what it's going to look like. Where the blue is right now is where the other clip's going to go. Now, as you can see, there's a little uh, selection here that says background. And uh, you want to click on the blue box there, or the, whatever color it is at the moment, and you want to make sure you click the crayon that says uh, the bright blue one, the blueberry entitled one, because that's what's going to help when you're trying to combine them using the uh, blue screen effect, which only registers for this color blue. So you uh, want to select blueberry, and once you have something that looks like this, you want to click OK. Then you want to click Apply, and uh, your clip will render. So you will have cropped out and prepared for split screen your first clip out of the two. So we're just going to wait for that to render. Hope you're still with me. Any questions, just post in the comments uh, section and I'll be happy to respond. Alright, that's done. That's done. Alright, now on to the second clip. I'm just going to save so I don't lose anything. So now you want to just click away and then click back to crop because if you didn't, then it wouldn't refresh the effect. All right, so now once you've clicked away and clicked back on crop, you want to select your second of the two clips and you want to click configure again on the crop thing. Oh, sorry, I didn't. All right, so now as you can see, where the line is right now and to the right of it is where my first video clip is going to go. So now I want to make it so that the other end of the red box is on that line so that the two clips will match directly next to each other. So I want the inverse of what's on the screen right now. So what I'm going to do, you can't see this, but I'm going to put my finger right where that line is so I know. I'm going to drag this over and my thumbs right where the line was. I'm just going to place it back there. So now that's a good method because now I know that the line is exactly where the line stopped for the first one. So now it's the opposite so that this video clip will be on the left and the first one will be on the right. So once I have that I can click OK, make sure that color is blueberry as well and I'll apply that. So as you can see the line is the same it's just inverted. And we'll just wait for that to render. And for the longest time, I was trying to figure out how to do split screen on this. Not too bad so far. All right, we're done with that, and now we have our two clips. I'm just going to save that. Now for the second part, using the second effect that I had you guys download in that video. Uh, so now we're going to go down to the very bottom where it says SS Blue Screen. If you'll notice that there are many that say SS Demo, this isn't one of them. This is in the demo that I had you guys download. Um, a lot of them are demos like this. They'll have like a watermark on it, but this SS blue screen right here does not have a watermark. And as you can see, it does exactly what we want. It does a split screen. Uh, 
So you want to click SS blue screen and you want to select both of your clips. See how they're both highlighted here? And you want to click SS blue screen and you want to apply that. So now it's going to render and I know I'm aware that this isn't the best aesthetic, uh, good looking uh, split screen, but I was just picking two random clips so I could just show you uh, how I do it. I'm sure all you great filmmakers out there will make a better looking sc split screen than this. <laughs> so we're going to wait for this stuff to render. You may think uh, iMovie is slow at rendering, but uh, a lot of people who have Final Cut, I know that uh, you have to render after every clip just to see it. So uh, be thankful, iMovie users. Alright, so now after you're done with this, you can actually delete its entirety, the entire second clip, so now you just have the first clip that's three seconds long. And uh, that's it. You have your split screen. I'm just going to play it for you so you see that... Uh, you can still make them both videos and you can combine them and uh, that's it that's all you need to do to do split screen I'll post the uh, video in the description bar explaining how to download the two effects you need for this which again are crop and blue screen thanks very much for your time comment and uh, subscribe and rate this five stars if you liked it and I'll see you guys soon